This is what you have been waiting for. The complete wiring of the slot car lap counter to the racetrack. And there are some cool ideas along the way. Today we are talking about the complete wiring of the slot car lap counter to the racetrack. We tested a lot together with passionate slot car fans and after implementing some improvements our concept works really great. It's well suited for replicating, not only for slot car fans. And we already have the official advertising banner ready that you can use. The casing isn't completely finished yet, but you can already see what it will look like. Before we talk about the actual integration, I will give a quick overview. This makes it easier to understand the matter. Our Arduino ESP32 project has become much more than just a lab counter. It has two relays built in that can be used to control the power supply to the slot cars. The start stop reset functions can be used either via the browser interface or via hardware buttons. You can interrupt the race if, for example, a slot car has jumped off the track. The timers in the counter are on hold in the stop phase and continue running as soon as you press the start button. The lap counter has two analog voltage sensors that are measuring the voltage on the tracks, which is displayed as dynamic bars on the browser interface. And this impresses the spectators and allows you to check at any time whether the vehicle's power supply is working correctly. You can operate the lap counter in an expert mode that I would recommend for advanced drivers who don't normally let their slot car jump from the track. In this mode the relays are bridged. The race is controlled via the start-stop reset function and the drivers have to follow the traffic lights. When green they are allowed to drive and when red they must stop. By the way, the drivers also receive an acoustic signal for start and stop. If one pilot drives during the red phase, his penalty time is automatically recorded as long as sensors are measuring a voltage on the rail. In this way, an early start is also detected. And of course, the Formula 1 start lights are very cool. I would be happy about a like for the video and it might be worth subscribing to the Electronics Unmasked channel. By the way, there will be further videos on the topic. So stay tuned. As a little secret among us here, I can tell you already now that the company PCBBay, the sponsor of this video, helped me a lot in producing a printed circuit board for the lab counter. That might be an option for you too. So here is my tip for your electronics projects. Go the easy way with PCB way. Just take a look at the PCB websites. You could operate the lap counter without any electrical connection to the racetrack. You could leave out the buttons and relays and only operate the lap counter via the browser interface. This works fine, however, let me tell you, it's a lot more fun if you integrate the lap counter with all the functions. In this context I'm having a suggestion on how you can easily change the race direction. Then we will go through the wiring with the racetrack step by step. And in the end we will see how to connect a cool gadget that we discussed on the channel. In its original state the electrical wiring of your analog slot car racetrack looks like this. Our lap counter would also work with the original DC power supply, which we replaced by a modern lap power supply. The slot car enthusiasts are saying that they can better control the slot cars. Usually the two speed controllers are connected to the racetrack in this way. Now we disconnect the line to the racetrack here, because this is where we connect the start-stop relays of our lap counter. 
The ground connection is also important so that the dynamic brake of the slot cars takes effect as soon as the speed controller is released. Now we would like to have a switch to bridge the two relays. We need it in case we don't want to use the lap counter or in case we want to use the set expert mode. We install the double switch in our distribution box or on our control panel. Here we see the wiring. Next I would like to show an optional switch that easily changes the race direction. We are achieving this using a four-way switch. In case your tracks are having a common ground, you need to remove it in order to avoid a shortcut. This solution is a little complicated, but we have to implement it in this way, because we also want to have the same polarity for our voltage measurement, regardless the racing direction. Here is the block diagram and you can see what the switches look like in reality. Next we connect the voltage measurement. Note that I left out the race direction changing switch. We want to use this voltage measuring function because a number of interesting functions such as penalty times or a display on the browser interface are derived from it. In this state we can already control everything via the browser interface. In the next step we connect the hardware buttons to the lap counter, as these make it really easier to operate the lap counter in the hectic pace of a race. This allows us to control the race via the button switches and at the same time via the browser interface. Next comes a gadget that you don't need but looks very cool. The device is based on an Arduino Nano and a stepper motor and if you are interested check out the previous videos about it. Here I would just like to briefly show you how to connect it. Here's now the complete overview on the wiring. It's no rocket science, but I thought an overview plan would be helpful, especially when you're sitting under your model racetrack and the devil is in the details with the wiring. I hope this video will help you a bit to integrate the electronics to your slot car racetrack. What's still missing now? A proper printed circuit, recording a race using a PC, the casing, the explanation of the Arduino code and maybe even new features. Of course that's coming. And then we are having some ideas for new projects with the slot car racetrack. Happy making! Now stay tuned and don't forget to support the channel. See you soon in the coming episodes.